everyone, my name is Jamie Harrell and I welcome you to the Senians Corner, the TV news magazine of the University of San Jose Recoletos. I'm sure you've heard about USJR. And you know what? Since its establishment in 1947, the university has continuously produced top-notch individuals in various fields, thanks to the quality of education that it provides. For better appreciation of what USJR can offer, Let's watch this. Home to more than 10,000 students. This is University of San Jose de Coletos. Let's hop in. From its humble beginnings in 1947, USJR has evolved into a leading institution of learning in the country. Its programs and colleges have achieved separate recognitions, both from an accrediting body and from the Commission on Higher Education, or CHED. In particular, USJR has been cited by CHED as Center of Development in Accountancy Program by virtue of the many top-notchers that USJR has produced in the past licensure examinations for certified public accountants. It is important to note that USJR's accountancy program is Cebu's only recipient of the Center of Development Award from CHED. Another distinction that puts USJR way apart from the rest of the universities in Cebu is the Center of Development in Industrial Engineering program. Interestingly, USJR is the only IE provider outside Luzon to have been given such recognition by CHED. As of this time, University of San Jose Recoletos is the first and only school in Cebu recognized by the Commission on Higher Education as a center of development in accountancy. And this distinction was awarded to USJR for exhibiting potential in providing quality instruction, research, and extension services. USJR has been consistently producing CPA board top notchers. Our passing percentage is way above the national passing percentage. And we have faculty who are highly qualified, highly competent, and highly committed to give their all in molding our students. We have the best pool of faculty who are all professional industrial engineers and all doctorate degree holders. We develop the area of ergonomics and method engineering. In fact, we take the lead in enhancing the teaching competencies of the IAP professors in this area by providing them training and seminars. USJR is not just about accountancy and industrial engineering. It's just about everything. They say doctors treat and cure patients. Engineers build skyscrapers and lawyers and judges grant justice. But teachers, they create them. In USJR, the stage has been set for such wonderful creation when Ched bestowed USJR the distinction as Center of Excellence in Teacher Education. Not to be outdone by the other colleges are the College of ICCT and the College of Arts and Sciences. They too have their share of achievements. The curricular programs in the College of Arts and Sciences are level 3 PASCO accredited, a solid proof of how competent and competitive our professors and how equipped our facilities are in the college. Likewise, in the College of Arts and Sciences, we train and mold our students to be competent in their respective fields of study so that once they are already in the real world, they will stand out and become pillars in their respective workplaces. University of San Jose Recoletos College of Information, Computer and Communications Technology prides itself of having no less than 75% of its graduates employed within three months from graduation. In fact, this is a record that no other college and universities within Visayas can actually fathom or equalize. We actually immerse our students in their last year to the industry. We stay there no less than six months to be immersed and to do actual live projects. Indeed, the USJR graduates have gone a long way in their careers. Talk about graduates. Don't you know that you don't necessarily need four years to earn a college diploma? Yes, that is because USJR offers the ATM. 
This program offers an opportunity for individuals with extensive experience in their chosen fields to earn a bachelor's degree in just one year. USJR ETF is a unique educational scheme mandated by the Commission on Higher Education. Modular learning package is specially designed to fit the student's needs and capabilities. Classes are done on a one-on-one -on -one encounter with their professors. Truly, the ETF is one reason why it's never too late to earn a college degree. The University of San Jose Recoletos also proudly holds in its laurels the autonomous status granted by the Commission on Higher Education and its programs in education, business and accountancy, and arts and sciences have been granted level 3 accreditation by the most prestigious accrediting body in the Philippines, and that is the PAASCO. This recognition is given to USJR for its continuing exemplary performance in the areas of instruction, research, and public service. This is also in recognition of the outstanding performance of its graduates, which manifests its genuine commitment to quality, excellence, and global competitiveness. Talk about competitiveness. This is one goal that is also shared by the Graduate School and the School of Law. The USJR Graduate School has passed the preliminary survey and is now qualified to apply for PAASCO accreditation. On the other hand, the School of Law has standardized further its curriculum and has boosted itself with the help of very experienced and competent law professors. The graduate school of our university had successfully passed the preliminary visit of PASCO and is now gearing up for our formal accreditation visit. Cognizant of the significant role of research, the school has intensified efforts to further enhance its research capability and research outputs. We have a strong faculty lineup in the graduate school. It is a mix of highly qualified academicians and several experienced industry practitioners. And to make USJR's brand of graduate education more accessible and responsive to the industry, we also run a number of special off-campus customized programs in partnership with several companies and professional associations. The USJR School of Law has embarked into a new journey which focuses on the concept of continuous improvement. Uh, recently, we have improved our facilities, we have revised our curriculum, and all these have resulted to the increase in our number of students, and uh, the increase has been sustained for uh, a number of years now. Uh, the changes have also resulted to the improvement of our performance in the bar exams. In the College of Law, our aim is to develop a kind of culture that would focus on excellence, a culture of hard work, a culture that respects the dignity of a human person. In this very competitive world, USJR makes sure its graduates are ready to take on today's challenges, survive the competition, and achieve better lives. And this is the goal of the Recoletos Industrial and Technological Training Center. RITTC is the technical training arm of the university. The growth of RITTC has been very remarkable since its establishment. As proof of our competence, we have been recognized by TESDA as one of the training centers in Region 7 for the aspiring vocational technical trainers. No doubt, the USJR RITTC is the fastest growing training center not just in Cebu but in the entire Visayas region. Well guys, in whichever program you may wish to enroll in San Jose, I bet USJR will bring out the best in you. Recently, USJR made structural and architectural innovations in the campus. Among them, the air-conditioned study areas at the corridors of the graduate school and the school of law, where students can have a convenient place to study, do research, and other stuff. Another innovation that USJR has made is the creation of a TV production team which conducts live coverage of the major events of the university such as Pakighimama, Mr. and Miss USJR, the intramurals opening ceremonies, and the dance palabas. 
This TV production team showcased their wares outside USJR when they covered the opening ceremonies of the 12th season of the Cebu Schools Athletic Foundation Incorporated. The team consists of select students, most of whom are mass communication majors. They also produce two magazine shows, The Hosenian's Corner and What's New? Thus making USJR the only school in Cebu pioneering in this initiative. What USJR has achieved through the years and what the students have endeavored and become are reflective of the foundations that this university is built on. That is, quality and excellence. I am Ulysses Bisabella and this is the Husenian's Corner. Truly, USJR stands for quality and excellence. The best proofs are Husenian top-notchers who continue to bring honor and pride to the university. Don't you know that producing board top notches has become quite a habit already for the University of San Jose Recoletos? It's hard to believe, but it's true. That is because in recent years, USJR has always landed its spots in the top 10 in various licensure examinations. Year 2010 was a banner year for USJR, as Susanians placed very high in two licensure examinations. The licensure examination for teachers or LET and the licensure exams for Certified Public Accountant or CPA. It can be recalled that Mr. Engelbert Reyes, a summa cum laude graduate, ranked second in the April 2010 LET. And five months later in September, another summa cum laude graduate once again made it to the top. Ms. Emmy Espinosa, a mathematics major, was number five in the licensure exam for teachers. The most notable achievement in board exams was that when three Hussanians ruled the May 2010 CPA licensure exams. Giselle Kodera emerged as number one, while her batchmates, Nino Martin Huntong and Mark Solatario, occupied the third and sixth places, respectively. In our accountancy program, we enforce high admission and retention standards. In our accountancy program, it is not enough that you pass the subjects. You have to get high grades. The cutoff is way above the normal passing grade. In our accountancy program, we immerse our students in a series of examinations. So in addition to the regular classes and departmental examinations, uh, every semester we also give them comprehensive examinations. And every year, before they move to the next year level, we give them qualifying examinations. And in their senior year, before they graduate, we give them MAC CPA board examinations. And we make use of the most recent textbooks and CPA review materials. We give them regular coaching and tutorial sessions. And these sessions are organized not just by our teachers, but by the students themselves. The students share resources with each other. The students um, help each other. The students pray for each other. And in 2011, two other Hussanians and working students at that were added to the growing list of USJR top-notchers. Mr. Antonio Sanchez ranked second in the CPA licensure exams in May, while Engineer Efren Barabat placed ninth in the Electronic Engineering licensure exams in April. In 2012, another working student assigned here at the periodical section of the main library brought yet another honor to USJR. Mr. John Lizabala, a magna cum laude graduate, was number four and the only top notcher in the Visayas during the librarian's licensure exams in November. Also in 2012, another magna cum laude graduate once again made USJR proud. Mr. Edmund Imperio ranked number nine in the CPA licensure exams. With all the achievements that the Hosanians have attained, there should be no argument about USJR's brand of education. It's definitely top-notch. With the concerted efforts of all the Hosanian administrators, faculty, students and staff, the University of San Jose Recoletos has demonstrated unwavering commitment to quality, excellence, and global competitiveness. 
Guided by the ideals of Caritas et Ciencia, Charity and Knowledge, we will continue to produce graduates who are not just professionally competent but also ethical individuals who possess strong faith in God and a genuine heart to serve the community. Adelante San Jose. This is one place where USJR features its top notchers so that students may recognize their achievements. So, whose face will be featured next in this area? I am Aidy Casanias Cagas, and this is the Hosanian's Corner. The search for the next Hosanian top notcher is on. Who knows? It could be you that USJR is looking for. Guys, thank you for watching. This has been Jamie Harrell, and this is the Hosanian's Corner.